What's up? My name is Biscuit from the USA, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the cyclone whistle. So basically what the cyclone whistle is, is it's a sound that I discovered back in like mid-2018, I think. Uh, I first broke it out in the East Coast beatbox battle. I won that year, so, you know, that was really cool, I guess. You better pray to me. <laughs> So this whistle, uh, I'm not the only one that does it, but I was the first, like, I think that I know of to ever do it or perform it live. I know that Kohei from Japan also does it. So big shout out to him. He has a lot more clout than me because, you know, he's Kohei from Japan. Uh, but, you know. Uh, I think I helped popularize this sound, at least where I'm from, in the USA. So, I figured why not do a tutorial on it, because there isn't one right now. So basically, the prerequisites for learning the cyclone whistle, that's such a cool name, I just named that like a day ago. Uh, the prerequisites for learning this sound are the click roll, or an alternative, the inward OD bass. Both of these positions and tongue movements are going to be like very crucial to learning this whistle. So if you don't know how to, there are tutorials by much more famous beatboxers than me. So go check those out. So you know how to do a click roll or inward OD bass, but the actual trick to the whistle is, well, learning the whistle. So how do you do it? The way you do it is you're going to bring your top lip all the way down, scrunched like that. It's going to kind of like pull your nose down. And then you're going to breathe in. You're going to leave like just a little bit of space between your tongue and your teeth right here. And that's what's going to create this air. That's where you want the air to go through on this like pathway in your mouth. You hear it? It's very faint right now, but the click roll or the inward OD bass is what's going to make it like really come to life and resonate. So we bring the top lip down, pull in the air, make sure that you're leaving just the tiniest amount of space between your tongue curled up like that in a sort of click roll position and in between your teeth. It's a pretty easy whistle, but the next part is what's gonna make it really sound full and sound powerful. So, you take that same position that your tongue is in against your teeth, and then you're gonna start to do a click roll movement. You go. So think about all the air you're dragging in when you do a click roll and how much your tongue is vibrating. This vibration in the tongue, like this thing that's happening, that is what's going to make this whistle become crazy loud. I personally like to bring this upper, this upper lip down like I was doing inward OD bass because I wouldn't do that when I'm doing a click roll. It just kind of stays there. So you want to bring the top lip down like you're doing inward OD bass, but the, the tongue action is more of a click roll kind of thing. It, be, it can become an inward OD kind of thing if you want to slow the whistle down, like... But like, you know, we'll get, we'll get there. So basically, you want to do this click roll motion while having this whistle happening in the background. So if you get your mouth in that position, and you start to pull back in that click roll, that's gonna make the whistle super loud. If it, if, it, if, it, if it's easier for you to do a click roll into the whistle and like sort of move into it, I, I, know, that, I know that helped me a lot to go from the click roll or the inward OD bass into the whistle. These can all help you to develop this whistle, which is called the cyclone whistle, by the way. I named it that. I, 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 named, it, I named it that. So, 
at the end of the day, uh, you have a new whistle. If you can't get the Vortex whistle, which uh, I couldn't, so like this is the next best thing for me. <laughs> you can vocalize it too that's pretty cool anyway this was my tutorial on the cyclone whistle i hope you enjoyed it uh feel free to comment down below uh, if you want more tutorials on just anything really in the meantime i hope you enjoyed the video uh press a like subscribe if you want more content we'll be posting some more content so expect that in the future thank you guys